<laughs> All right, we're going to do it. Okay, <laughs> well, let's talk about it. I'm, we're giving you fluoride shield. It's kind of like you've come to the prices, right? Survival shield, super male vitality, and made by Navy SEALs. 1776 worldwide 50 caliber bottle breacher. That's pretty cool. In fact, in fact, give this to your deputy chief. Yeah. There's another one inside there. That's pretty cool. All sorts yeah. of liberty trinkets. <laughs> Listen, Alex, uh, uh, we appreciate you always bringing us in here. Um, you don't have to agree to disagree. And I think one of the things that we need to work on as a, as a society is that sometimes people may have the right, they may be right on an issue, but because they're screaming about the issue, the way that they're, expressing themselves ends up the, the people just hear noise instead of a uh, fact well sure i mean i i never came at this with some plan and i did and i did used to yell and scream a lot more than i do now and i have noticed it's actually more effective to be calm yeah with absolutely. the information a lot of the time yeah people yeah. Actually, actually i still remember your appearance with uh what's the name on uh, cnn with uh, here's morgan's bye bye now God. Is he gone, really? Yeah, he lost his show two days ago. Oh, I didn't know that, but I remember that watching you. And now, that was effective because I called him out. Well, I couldn't he stop laughing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. That's a, I just leave it at that. And uh, um, it was fun to watch because I because, I, because uh, I don't think he knew what he got himself into. Art, do you want a twin fire 50 Cal Barrett's handheld? Yeah, we'll do whatever. That would look, that would look pretty manly for everybody on the force. They would... Everybody would think that's pretty macho. Yeah, but you said that a year ago. I'm still waiting. Okay, that's it. You want to go on? I, I'm going to England to speak at Oxford in a couple of weeks. Okay. But when I get back, I'm going to so call. You're, you're, you're no longer on the no-fly uh, list? I don't think I was ever on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kidding. But my dad, because his name is so common, was on it for a while. Really? No criminal record. Very, David Jones is a very... Uh, David Jones is a very common name. Yeah, I actually know an Alex Jones. It's not you. There's a lot of Alex Joneses yeah. now. Yeah, yeah who, absolutely. Who was, a, who, who was the uh, number t number two guy on uh, the California Air Patrol for a long time? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They'll probably say I'm secretly him now. Yeah, he's shorter than you are. No, you're. Everybody knows that you're part of the CIA. So <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows your dad really was though. <laughs> hey, my dad. That's why when you call me communist and and people that know nothing about me call me a communist. I'm sorry. Well, I was saying oh. if you want, if you don't want the guns around, then that would be like supporting Fidel. No, you should go. You go to Cuba. Y you know what? If, if uh, why would I want? Why would I not want to have a process in place to try to keep guns out of the hands of criminals? Uh, 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 felons, drug dealers. Why? Gangbangers. Why? Because they're only going to use that process against law-abiding people. You know what? It, Look at what, Connecticut. What, they are now confiscating all the guns in Connecticut. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't pay attention to Connecticut. I'm, I'm talking about Texas. Texans are very responsible gun owners. Uh, our, our concealed handgun licensees, my, my uncle's 80-something 80, 80 years old. He still goes and qualifies all the time. Uh, I think we do it right in Texas. But you protect the Second Amendment by doing what we can to ensure that the that prohibited gun owners and gun buyers are, uh, are, are we keep the guns but out see, of the But see, I believe that you genuinely see the good side of that. Yeah. Your bottom line, so. bottom line, Bloomberg and others want the abolition of civilian ownership of firearms. That's what the UN wants. Mike Martinez did say, hey, we're going to register them now, and you'll need that sign later. We're going to confiscate them later. There is an anti-gun attitude out there. Well, I mean, there, there may be, but I can tell you that the majority of American law enforcement, we are not interested in no, I know that. I know that out of the hands of, of, Amer of American citizens. The, the, but, but I am interested in ensuring that one of the things that, that you might want to support, like they did in the state of California, is um, mandatory sentencing when you commit a crime. And you use a gun. Where if you use a gun in the commission of a felony, you must do 10 years in prison. If you shoot somebody, you have a minimum of 20 years in prison. Uh, that really, at, when those mandatory sentences passed in California in terms of the use of, of uh, firearms and crimes, it really had an impact on violent crime. So, But, I mean, violent crime with guns has dropped 51%, the Justice Department's own numbers, since 1992. But people need to quit blaming guns overall. More guns means less crime. I'm not worried. Does about more guns mean less crime? No, I'm more. I'm not worried about. And you guns. say Molan Lambe. <laughs> I'm not worried about guns. I'm uh -huh. worried about guns in the wrong hands. And and the more that we can, the more we do sure. continue to reduce that of gun violence, the better position will be to protect us. What about Molan? Can you say Molan Lambe? No, that's that's. I don't even know what that means. It means, so. it means come and take it. Molan Lobby? Yes. I've got that right by... Have you seen my office? I've got that framed right by, right by my desk. Right Come by and take desk. it. Come and take it. Oh, my gosh. Well, yes. that's, that's what they said. You have that? Yes. Well, that, that, I I'll promise. Text you, I'll text, I will tweet a picture of that today. In your honor. All right. We'll, well, I want you to tweet this the, next and to I'll it. Because that's, that's in the Greek. If you don't believe me, look it up. I will have to it look it up. It doesn't say something like... Uh, 
you know, I'm evil or something. I mean, and we're not uh, tricking you. I double check. Molon Labe means come and take it. Uh, how, how much are these? It's like $22. It's made in America, and it helps fund our operation. Infowarsstore.com. Hey, promise you're going to go shooting with us. That's a done deal. All right. All right, it's done. It's done. It's done. The you. studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live